Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're back again right here on Mountaineer Championship Wrestling with our main event match. As you're getting to hear the introductions now between Billy Litt and former midget wrestler from WYTV4 Santa Wrestling, Shorty Brown, as they team up to go against the Cuban Assassin and Angel Justin. The Cuban Assassin and Angel Justin are accompanied by the advisor in their corner. An official of this match is Pee Wee Harris. One fall with a 20 minute time limit. Your main event right here on Mountaineer Championship Wrestling, right here on Fayette County Community TV. Billy Litt, Shorty Brown against the Cuban Assassin and Angel Dust right here at the Upper Law Volunteer Fire Department in Sabine, West Virginia. And it looks like the Cuban Assassin is getting kind of mad here right now. He's going to the uh, ring announcer here at the table. What's he going to say? As you can see, the Cuban assassin taunting the fans here at the Upper Low Volunteer Fire, excuse me, at the Upper Law Volunteer Fire Department. Upper Laurel Volunteer Fire Department in Saving West Virginia. Excuse me, fans, getting a little tongue twisted there as he taunted the fans, and now this match should be underway. It's the Cuban Assassin Angel Dust against Billy Litt, Shorty Brown. The official of this match is Pee Wee Harris. One fall, 20 minute time limit. It's our main event right here, Mountaineer Championship Wrestling, right here on Fayette County Community TV. And uh, as we're going to see what's going on here now. Cuban Assassin taunting the fans here, telling them to shut their stinky mouths, and they do not like the Cuban Assassin here at the Upper Wall Volunteer Fire Department in Sabine, West Virginia. And right now, Bailey Lift is leading the fans in the clap, and I think the fans are wanting to see Shorty Brown start this match off with the Cuban Assassin. He's telling Bailey Lift just one second, give him room. One second here. And he shouts out Viva La Cuba to the fans here. And they do not like the Cuban assassin shouting Viva La Cuba here. But they're definitely behind Billy Lid and Shorty Brown. Shorty Brown used to be a midget wrestler at WYTV4 Sanite Wrestling, once hosted by Shirley Love. And Billy Lit getting the face of Angel Dust there, and she's a physical fitness guru herself in great physical shape. That's why the Cuban Assassin brought her in this matchup. And now he's asking the official Pee Wee Harris if he has searched Billy Lit, and he says, Yes, I have searched Billy Lit, but he's going to do it anyway. Cuban Assassin's got his foreign object right now. He pulled out his boots, handing it to Angel Dust. Now, official Pee Wee Harris is searching Shorty Brown. And now, Pee Wee Harris is searching the Cuban Assassin. And this match is underway, and uh, Billy Litt. Uh, Looks like he's giving signals to the advisor. He's got his eyes on him. And now Fisher Pee Wee Harris is searching Angel Dust. And this match hasn't even started yet. Now uh, we've got a little bit of dosy do or was, uh, but now looks like we may be getting ready to get this match underway. I hope we're getting this match underway anytime soon. The fans are out behind Billy Litt, and now uh, they're getting ready to start this match, and it's getting ready to go underway here, and the Cuban Assassin breaks off before he even locks up with Billy Litt, as usual.
much like the Cuban assassin is giving some uh, talking over some strategies with his partner Angel Dust in the corner. Billy Lit uh, making fun of it. And here we go. Should we get ready to start off now? And again, the Cuban assassin does not hook up with Billy Lit, and he goes to the ropes and gets uh, broke off again. He seems not want to hook up with Billy Lit for some obvious reason. And he's taunting the fans here at the Upper Law Volunteer Fire Department again by the Cuban assassin. And the fans are right behind Billy Lit and Shorty Brown. And we're going to have a lockup here, and we do. Collar boy top in the center of the ring, and Billy Lit takes the arm of the Cuban assassin and rings that arm there. Cuban assassin reverses it, rings it back, trips him down, goes onto that leg there, goes off the ropes for a splash and goes for a cover. One, two, only count twos. Billy Lit kicks out there, and side headlock applied by the Cuban assassin. Side headlock takedown by the Cuban assassin onto Billy Lit. He pulls him over. Only a count of two as the Cuban assassin shoves himself back over. And they're both back up to the feet now. And now Billy Litt is trying to go for reversal into the back hammer lock, into the side headlock. Now applied by Billy Litt onto the Cuban assassin. Couple of fists to the midsection. Irish shoots him off the ropes. Shoulder tackle by Billy Litt. He has the ropes drop down, float over. Mexican head sitters take down on by Billy Lit, the Cuban assassin goes for a pinning attempt and kicks. And only count two does the Cuban assassin kicks out. Side headlock applied by Billy Lit onto the Cuban assassin. Back to the arm. Irish whip off the ropes. Reversal. Springboard off the ropes and on two the Cuban assassin by Billy Lit. And he goes for a cover. One, two. And only count of two as the Cuban assassin kicks out again. Side headlock applied by Billy Lit. Side headlock take down by Billy Lit onto the Cuban assassin. He pulls the trunks, pulls him over. One, two. Only count of two as he kicks out. Pulls him back over again. One, two, and only two count as the Cuban Assassin's pulling the trunks of Billy Litt, trying to pull him over there. And uh, Shorty Brown complained to official Pee Wee Harris about the pulling of the trunks. Official Pee Wee Harris warning the Cuban Assassin. A couple close fists to the midsection again. Some forearm there. Another forearm applied by the Cuban Assassin. The Billy Litt takes him to the corner. Irish whip out of the corner. Reversal by Billy Litt. He shoots the Cuban Assassin in. And now what's he going to do here? He's getting ready. Looks like he's going to come charging in. Goes for the monkey flip out of the corner to the Cuban assassin. And now the Cuban assassin comes to Shorty. Gets punched by Shorty. Punched by Billy. Punched by Shorty. Punched by Billy. And down he goes. And goes for a pin attempt by Billy Litt. And only count on two as the Cuban assassin kicks out again. And now he crumbs over and he hugs Angel Dust into the corner from the series of moves by Billy Litt. And Shorty Brown onto the Cuban assassin. And we yet to see Shorty Brown officially get in the ring. And we've yet to see Angel Dust officially get in the ring at this time. And now Billy Litt's getting the chant chicken started here in the fans at the Upper Lowell Volunteer Fire Department in Sabine, West Virginia. Right here on Mountain Air Championship Wrestling. Right here on Fett County Community TV. Every Saturday, 8 p.m. with a replay every Monday, 7 p.m. And the Cuban assassin complained about pulling the hair and uh, to official Pee Wee Harris, and he's going to ask the fans here, and uh, Billy Lit to tell official Pee Wee Harris that he did not pull his hair, and the Cuban assassin and Angel Dust and the advisor, all three say that he did. But the fans are saying no to the Cuban assassin, as you can hear him taunting the Cuban assassin right now with the yes and the no. And again, uh, Cuban Assassin taunting some of the fans here at the Upper Law Volunteer Fire Department in Sabine, West Virginia. Fans, whenever we come to a town or arena near you, you need to check out professional wrestling when it comes to a town or arena near you. Whether it's in uh, Bud, West Virginia, from the infamous Pow Wow Community Center to the Veterans of uh, Legion of Foreign Hall, excuse me, in Marlins, West Virginia, to the Upper Law Volunteer Fire Department, Sabine, West Virginia, the ARC building in Marlington, West Virginia to Dave's Cafe Outdoor in Beckley, West Virginia, to the Old Meadow Bridge Drive-In Movie Theater in Meadow Bridge, West Virginia. These are just some of the towns we come to. The Quality Inn uh, Ballroom in Bluefield, West Virginia, the Princeton Rec Center in Princeton, West Virginia. We come to all these areas. 
to the fire department in Cass, West Virginia, to the uh, old Ronsiford uh, Middle School in Ronsiford, West Virginia. We come to all these towns, to the uh, Municipal Community Building in Hinton, West Virginia. These are just some of the towns and locations you can check out live professional wrestling and Mountaineer Championship Wrestling when it comes to a town or arena or building or community near you. Right now, we're going to look like we're going to have a test of strength applied between the Cuban Assassin and Billy Litt, and they're shoulder to shoulder right now in the center of the ring. Official Pee Wee Harris is checking to see if anyone's submitting here. And right now, I don't know what Shorty Brown. Shorty comes in, and he stomps to push the Cuban Assassin, and he goes down, and now Shorty Brown goes outside the ring. And uh, Cuban Assassin down on his knees, and now the advisor is complaining to official Pee Wee Harris about uh, Shorty Brown, and now Cuban says back to his feet. Here comes uh, Angel. Just, oh, oh my lord! Angel just went to do the same thing that Shorty Brown did, and Billy Lick caught her by stopping her in her hand. She lifted her head up and caught the Cuban Assassin in his family jewels, we might say. And now you can see the Cuban Assassin's feeling the effect of that maneuver right now as Angel Dust is feeling the effect of her hand being stomped on. And now the advisor is going over asking Angel Dust what happened and she's trying to explain it was an accident. He stomped on her hand and she lifted up and caught him and the fans loved it here. And right now the fans are chanting Shorty. I think they want Shorty to be tagged in while the Cuban Assassin's at a weak, vulnerable mo moment. And the tag is official. And now Shorty Brown makes his first appearance. And the Cuban Assassin tags Angel Dust, and she makes her first appearance. So the first appearance, both Shorty Brown and Angel Dust in this main event matchup today on Mountaineer Championship Wrestling. And Angel Dust is sitting there wanting Shorty Brown to hit her, and Shorty Brown is saying, you know, he don't hit women. That, you know, the Cuban Assassin's got a viable weapon here with Angel Dust. And now she's shoving Shorty Brown, and she slapped him really hard again. And now she... He's sitting there turning his back around, and he's saying he wants the Cuban assassin. And she's saying she's not going to tag Cuban assassin, and now they're trying to get the fans rally for the tag here. And now she goes for a schoolboy attempt, and only a count of two as Shorty kicks out. And now she gets on Shorty. Shorty takes her down. What's he going to Oh, no, he gets her on his knee, and he spanks her right there, and she runs over to the section of the Cuban assassin, and now he's trying to take care of her in the corner here. Shorty Brown just spanked. Uh, and now Cuban has to complain about the spanking on Angel Dust to official Pee Wee Harris, but he's saying it's perfectly legal. And Billy Lit taunting Angel Dust right now. Shorty Brown doesn't want to hit a lady, but he sure did spanked her pretty good there. Looked like he might have enjoyed himself a little bit too much. The advisor didn't like it. The Cuban assassin didn't like it. I know Angel Dust didn't like it. But surely enough, Shorty Brown did. And so did the fans here. But she's not going to sit there. And then he's wanting her to tag the Cuban assassin. And now Carla will tie up in the corner. And she rakes the Shorty Brown's eyes. And now she picks up armbar twist Shorty Brown. Takes him to the rope here. Tags the Cuban assassin. Irish rip reversal by Shorty. Oh. And she went to go and try to. Wait a minute. And Shorty Brown goes and does the three count. And goes to hold Angel Dust's hand high in the air. And she slaps the bejesus out of uh, Shorty Brown there. And the Cuban assassin taking advantage of a weak moment gets on Shorty Brown. Picks him up, scoop slam by the Cuban assassin onto Shorty Brown. What's he going to do now? Comes out of the corner, big elbow dropped by the Cuban assassin onto Shorty Brown there. And now he's going for a legal chokehold. Official Pee Wee here is telling him to break that legal chokehold right now. And the fans are out behind Shorty Brown right here at the Upper Lowell Volunteer Fight. Now he slaps Billy Litt in the face, and Billy comes out and official Shorty Brown holding back. And now both Angel Dust and Cuban Assassin stomping onto Shorty Brown. And Angel Dust back outside of the ring, and now the Cuban Assassin goes for a cover attempt. And Shorty uh, Brown is just laying there as the Cuban says to got him cover one, two, and they count two as Shorty Brown kicked out because the official Pee Wee Harris was distracted by Billy Litt. Cuban goes up, scoops up the, oh, and then he goes behind the Cuban assassin. He crawls between his legs and he tags in Billy Litt. And now Billy Litt comes into the ring. And now we have the same participants as we started, Billy Litt and the Cuban assassin. And now the Cuban, Billy Litt is getting the fans to rally behind him in this matchup. And then the 
Cuban Assassin is trying to have official Pee Wee Harris back up Billy Litt. Is uh, Billy Litt trying to check on his partner, Shorty Brown, there? And now he gets a thumb to the eye by the Cuban Assassin on to Billy Litt, and he rams his head to the top turnbuckle. Gives him a forearm by the Cuban Assassin. And now the Cuban Assassin starts choking Billy Litt into the corner here. And now the official is distracted by the Cuban Assassin as the advisor is getting on to Billy Litt into the corner. And now it looks like he's really working over Billy Litt here. Now he's choking Billy Litt on that top rope there in his own corner where Angel Dust is. And he's distracting the official again. And now Angel Dust is choking Billy Litt on that top rope. And I tell you, with the arsenal of the advisor and his tag team partner, Angel Dust, Billy Litt is having a hard time with the Cuban Assassin. And now the Cuban Assassin takes Billy Litt, Irish whip off the ropes, back elbow by the Cuban Assassin. And now he slaps Shorty Brown, and now Shorty Brown tries to come in, and Pee Wee Harris hold him off, and then Angel Dust comes back in again. And now they both Irish whip off the ropes, double clothesline, by uh, Angel Dust and Cuban Assassin on to Billy Litt, and he goes for a cover. One, two, and only a count of two and a half there as Billy Litt barely kicked out due to double teaming efforts between the Cuban Assassin and Angel Dust. And now the Cuban Assassin complains, saying that was a three count, but the fans here at the Below Volunteer Fire Department is saying it's only a count of two. A couple of big elbows here by Billy Litt onto the Cuban Assassin. Some forearms here. Irish whip off the ropes and bends down and gets his hair pulled by the Cuban assassin and the Cuban assassin gets him down right there. And now the official Shorty Brown is uh, getting on to the Cuban assassin about the hair pulling. And now we got a reverse chin lock applied by the Cuban assassin on to Billy Litt. And the fans are trying to rally up behind Billy Litt here at the Upper Lowell Volunteer Fire Department in Sabine, West Virginia. His upper hand right now is by the hands of the Cuban assassin and Angel Dust. Onto Billy Litt and Shorty Brown. Billy Litt gives a couple of elbows, ducks his clothesline, ducks the back elbow, and gets met by the knee to the midsection from the Cuban assassin onto Billy Litt. And now the Cuban assassin says, All hell, Cuba. Goes down for a lazy cover onto Billy Litt, and the count only two as Billy Litt kicks out right there. If he would have had the leg hook, he might have already ended this match. And now he's got uh, a front face lock applied onto Billy Litt by the Cuban assassin. Once again, you're watching Mountaineer Championship Wrestling on Fett County Community TV every Saturday, 8 p.m. with the replay every Monday at 7 p.m. I'm your play-by-play -play commentary host, Chico Rodriguez. We're coming to you from the Upper Lowell Volunteer Fire Department in Sabine, West Virginia. It's our main event match, Billy Litt and Shorty Brown against the Cuban Assassin and Angel Just. Official Pee Wee Harris is the mat official of this match, and this match is under almost close to a time limit here. And a couple of hours with Billy Litt, he ducks the clothesline, bends down. Looks like the Cuban is trying to go for a backdrop. Gets caught by a sunset flip. Cuts off Billy Litt there. Gets met by a clothesline by the Cuban assassin onto Billy Litt. And now Cuban assassin goes for a cover attempt again. One, two, and only a count of two and a half as Billy Litt raised his arm right there. And the Cuban assassin once again is saying it's three. And the fans are trying to tell the Cuban assassin that they know how to count. It was a count of two. Scoop slam by the Cuban assassin on to Billy Litt. He's given the sign saying it's all over. What's he going to do here? Looks like he's going outside the ring. He may be going for a high risk maneuver as he steps up right now, going to the top rope. Is he going to go for the Cuban missile crisis? That big elbow drop he does, but Billy Litt moves out of the way and the Cuban meets nothing but the ring mat right there. And now official Pee Wee Harris again doing the standard uh, double 10 count. Both men slowly trying to get to their feet here. The fans are definitely behind Billy Litt, and they want Shorty Brown to get in and get all over the Cuban assassin here. And Cuban throws a punch and is blocked. And now the Billy Litt's throwing some forearms of his own. Irish up out of the corner. He goes in. He gets Cuban assassin in his move, but 
partially, and then now he's just grazing and then getting the fans to feel the electricity here, and uh, he takes a pause, and he's, wait a minute, he's pointing at Billy, he's, Billy Lee is pointing at Shorty Brown to tag him in, and the fans are wanting him to tag him in, and he tags in the former midget wrestler from WITV4, Sound Night Wrestling, Shorty Brown, as he's going up to the second rope. And, it, and Billy that pulls the Cuban, but he goes in and dies, and the Cuban moves, and Shorty Brown gets nothing but the ring apron as well. And now the Cuban assassin is taunting, slowly coming up behind Shorty Brown. This is the moment the Cuban assassin's been waiting for. He's been waiting for this moment so he can finish off Shorty Brown here. And he's got a sleeper hold applied upon Shorty Brown. The Cuban assassin's got a sleeper hold. That may be it. This match may be over. The Cuban assassin and Angel Dust may be victorious in this matchup here on Mountaineer Championship Wrestling. The fans are rallying behind Shorty. And right now, Bill it just comes in and he applies a side hit lock to the Cuban assassin. As the Cuban assassin, I mean, excuse me, sleeper applied to the Cuban assassin. The Cuban assassin applies a sleeper to Shorty Brown. And wait a minute, what, what's, what's Angel Dust doing? And now Angel Dust gets up, and Angel Dust has the sleeper applied to Billy Lit. Billy has the sleeper applied to Cuban Assassin. As Cuban lets go of Shorty Brown, and Shorty's feeling the effect, and Cuban rans Billy Lit and Angel Dust into the corner. Everybody's feeling the effect of the sleeper, and everybody's feeling something to affect out of that corner. What's going to happen here? Book to the midsection. Followed by a DDT onto Billy Lit by the Cuban assassin. And now he's trying to come over. What's he going to do? Cuban trying to shake off the sleeper fans. Channel behind Billy. Angel Dust on her hands and knees. Cuban picks up uh, Shorty Brown and he trips over Angel Dust. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe it. The Cuban assassin tripped over Angel Dust. And Shorty Brown and Billy Lit are the victors. They win the match over the Cuban assassin and Angel Dust. This week on Mountaineer Championship Wrestling here on Fayette County Community TV. Fans, I'm your play-by-play -play commentary host, Chico Rodriguez. We got to go. We got to go. That's it. We'll see you next week.